Over here. Hi, Larry. Uh, Laura Letterman from William Blair. Speaking of moving up and down the stack, SAP was commenting this morning that with their new in-memory database, the SAP applications, you don't really need a relational database. I'd love to get your thoughts on that one. Well, get me the name of their pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know a lot about in-memory databases. In fact, we have the leading in-memory database time, times 10. If, if they really, I mean, I guess in theory, you know, you, you, know, you, don't, you don't need an in-memory database if one person could keep all the information in their head. Uh, uh, but uh, this is nonsense. There is no, t there is no such technology. There's no, in, no, no in-memory technology uh, anywhere near ready to take the place of a relational database. It's just complete nonsense. It's a complete fantasy on their part. You know, they've, uh, so I, I know Hasso has got this little R&D group in California that supposedly developed this in-memory database that is just going to be change everything. Well, I, d I don't think so. I, I guess we missed it and IBM missed it and it's great that Hasso and his five guys got it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's just wacko. <clears throat> I mean, an in-memory database is enormously complex. I mean, we, we do a lot of in-memory database work. It's an enormously complex job that will take, you know, if they've been working on it for a decade or so, or a couple of decades, maybe they'd be, you know, getting close. But, you know, um, again, it, it's, just, it's just so absurd that it's very hard for me to comment with a straight face. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about... Uh they, they, should just keep, they should just keep to accounting. <laughs> you know, the, the other stuff just seems, evidently bewilders them. 